my area of bioenergy research that I'm most excited about is the one that most people haven't heard about, and it's microbial fuel cells. Um, fuel cells are in the news. Those tend to be hydrogen fuel cells or solid oxide fuel cells, the kind of things that you know, we're playing with. Can we put these in cars? And uh, certainly we've been using them in space um, vehicles for a number of decades. A typical fuel cell is using an electrochemical reaction um, using fairly expensive catalysts, using platinum type um, electrodes, high temperatures, very high temperatures. It's not something that uh, you can do in the backyard. What the microbial fuel cell does is it takes a step back and says, instead of trying to drive this with just chemical reactions, can we take advantage of microorganisms that can do that for us? You're not using microorganisms or even chemical reactions to create a biofuel that you then have to combust to then give you heat, which gives you then mechanical energy. So you're losing, you're losing efficiency all along that line. This is going directly from the food source that you're feeding the microorganisms to electricity.